I got here a little early this morning because the guys have been bugging me and we finished up the last project and they said, we want to build an OBS. So I got them an OBS to build. Let's see what they got to say about it. Before we jump into this next build, something exciting's going down. That's right, the NFL season is finally here. And to shift the excitement into the next gear, my partners at Underdog Fantasy are ready to hook you up. Last year, millions of fans jumped in on the action with Underdog. And trust me, this year is even gonna be bigger. Underdog has this killer pick em game where you can pick and win big by making picks on your favorite NFL players. Here's how it works. You just choose higher or lower on player stats like touchdowns, receiving yards, interceptions, you name it. And get this, you can win up to 1,000 times your money. Pick your favorite NFL players or mix and match across other sports. Whatever you're into, Underdog's got you covered. Underdog is available in over 30 states, including California, Florida, and right here in Texas. So if you're into one of those states, you're ready to rock. Okay, I'm gonna show you my picks for this Monday's game. Check them out and screenshot them so you don't miss out. And if you're a new customer, you can pair your picks with this Jalen Hurts free pick. He just needs only one yard and boom, you're in the money. And that's not all. Underdog is dropping a new promo every day in September, so keep an eye out on that lobby. So don't wait, head over to underdogfantasy.com, sign up and use the promo code GASMONKEY to get up to 1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. That's 1,000 bucks in bonus cash just for making your picks. So what are you waiting for? Sign up using the link in this description and let's make this NFL season one to remember. It's a big side by side. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You made me well, a 22, I can't either, but you know, after electric fan. Richard wants one, so now I get to <laughs> we need your help. buy the badass one yeah. type of thing, you know? So yeah. And then we can play it's in it. Because he's not now. Now. I'm cool with that. Boat. Good morning. You guys don't waste no time getting here late. Uh at least we do it late. as a team. <laughs> yeah, I know. What what do you got there, bud? Well why do you got that there, bud? You guys said that y'all wanted to build an OBS, so I got you an OBS. Well, oh, you got a, a, a quarter of it. No, it's kind of here. How much do they pay you to take that? <laughs> I, don't worry about the finances. That's my department. Yeah, because somebody had to pay you to haul that piece of shit off. <laughs> Was it a dually at one point? It looks like it might have been. Or something. <laughs> I don't think it was originally a dually. I'm pretty sure this cut right here is not... It's not factory. I'm pretty sure you got this out of Kenny's neighborhood. Oh, wow. why you got to talk about Kenny's neighborhood no, like it that? It would at least be the same color. Since the bed was so messed up, I already got Mike another truck. It ain't much better than this, but at least the bed's good. Usually it's more cost effective to buy a complete one in decent shape. Well, let's just talk about what we're gonna do here. Here is what I'm thinking. Here's your mission, should you choose to accept it, as they say in the Tom Cruise movies. Uh -huh. Save me, Tom Cruise! Ah! Help me, Tom Cruise! Tom Cruise, use your witchcraft on me to get the fire off me! We go all the way down the frame like we like to do, and we come all the way back up. And the dually thing kind of freaked me out when I bought this, so then I started thinking, well, why not a dually? Why mm -hmm. not a short bed, single cab, dually? But I'm also thinking, instead of duallys in the back, big, super single. That was gonna be my next yeah. question. Is and no, not a super single, like that go on the rigs. I'm just talking about a lot of meat back there. Okay. I, all bet, right. I bet Chris has got something Deep laying around for that. Ish. Yeah. Deep like lip. Phantom. I will, mm -hmm. I want this thing to have some lip on it. Okay. All right. I want it to be fast, fast. What do you mean fast, fast? Like 1,500 or more horsepower. I love that. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to that. Maybe twin turbo. Not opposed okay. to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like where this is going. Well, I mean, if we have a lot of speed and a lot of power up here, yep. we're going to have to have a tranny to back it up. And uh, we're going to have to have a rear end. Okay. To go with our tranny. Whoa, wait. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm saying this all wrong. So we're gonna have to have a rear end to go with our transmission okay. to handle all that power. And then we're gonna have yep. to have brakes to stop it. Um, so I'm thinking we get with Chris at JTX and start planning out a wheel that works. Okay. And I'm, a carbon fiber drive shaft as well to go from the transmission to the rear end. <laughs> if you're gonna drive a rear end, you might as well have a train. Is that how it goes? I don't know. That's right. This has been some weird right. shit this morning. <laughs> So that's right. what else do y'all think? I mean, I'm covering the big bases, but what can we do that's... Are we picturing like drag race fast or like a like a on-road, like road car fast? You know what I mean? Like road car fast. You know that guy that runs around the Corvette with the, with the, with the camera up on the dilly dauber? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like beat him fast. Okay. If he's fast. I don't know if he just does stupid stuff or what. I just, that's I the thing that fast. came to mind. I think he's fast. Yeah, I think I want to be fast. fast. Okay. I want lots of horsepower. 
but I want it streetable and I want all the comforts of home, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, all that kind of stuff. You know what's right around the corner. Are you are you about to drop a single Why box? Why do you got to ruin my fun, man? I was going to drop that on you and you just totally <laughs> messed it up. Yes, this is SEMA build number one. We'll call it that for now. No, uh, no, 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 we ain't How long we got? Five again. How long we got? I'm going to say a couple. If you stick in your mind frame that it's only two months and you have three, then you might make it. Well, it depends on how many you're going to drop on us right now. Well, this is number one. All God. right. I want this thing to be slicker than slick. Why you got to break stuff? I'm not. I'm fit working on it. We only got three months. Yeah, you only got two months. <laughs> now, the good months. news is, wait a second. Where's the new guy? Oh, yeah, you didn't hear? Chris uh, had his baby. Yeah. I didn't know he was pregnant. His wife had his baby. Well, he's not pregnant, Her but baby. she's pregnant. Yeah. Doesn't that make like four? Or five yeah. or something. We're building an army. So here's the deal. Yeah. See, we build number one. I wanted to be badass, and uh, I've already got a couple of really tricky ideas, and I'll listen to anything that y'all come up with. Okay. Uh, I'll probably poo poo it and say how stupid you are. But at the end of the day, I know you guys can get this done. And the good news is, I'm going to be in Sturgis. Well, we can get a lot done then. Well, I expect it to be a lot done. Yeah. I expect the frame to be mocked up, ready to be final weld. Uh, I want to pull this we, one oh. and have it sandblasted. We got to get parts here still. Well, that's your department. I just told you what I wanted. <laughs> you know, the fact that I expect it right now doesn't make any difference to me. But we need to strip this thing down and have this sandblasted. I want this frame super clean, super detailed, ready to rock yeah. and roll for what we're building. I want this thing to look as good on bottom as it does on top. And I have not considered a paint scheme yet, so I'll let y'all stew on that for a couple weeks. And then I have an idea that I'm fleshing out that I've never seen done. Mm -hmm. And if I can make that happen, that'll be the piece de resistance. Have you cleared this with Daphne? Because what you're asking for is not going to be cheap. Mm -mm. You've been around here the longest of you I guys. Have. All right, and so you know that you mad. don't clear things with Daphne. You just let her yell when it's happening. Okay, cool. You don't go in first. Yeah. You go in afterwards and go, it's too late. Okay. I'm yeah. already in. Yeah. Well, I've already committed. I'm glad both of y'all seem that way because it's probably going to be me on the phone. Well, I would be, uh, as they say, dialing for dollars. <laughs> yeah. <it's> just, <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my side extra dirty when you're ordering parts. That way she'll be bitching about that. There we go. Take some of the heat off. Teamwork. Y'all know as well as I do, it's hard to make a mark in the OBS world. There's no, too yeah. many trucks out there. I think we Let's, can do that. Kick ass. Let's get this thing stripped down and make sure that we don't have a bend in the frame or anything like that. Okay. And uh, you get on the phone, start dialing, and uh, rock and roll. I want to go see what you left it's morning. on my side. It's oh. only 8.15 and y'all are already tied up. Mm -hmm. Oh, God damn it. All right, so I got the bed sides uh, fitted and mounted. Um, we got to do a lot more cutting and trimming on the inside where the wheel will set up in there. But for now, they're they're fitted and um, I'm going to get the bed off and we're going to get the doors off. And I think that's probably about all I'm going to use off of this truck. I got my Team Supreme here. Look at these guys. You can flex, everybody. Except for Fips. Fips don't, don't flex. <laughs> don't flex, Fips. Okay. <laughs> we'll get the bed off. Y'all go back to up and down. Y'all go back to the mechanic <laughs> shop. Get out of my side. Me and, me and Phipps got it from here. Yeah. Hey Mike, I'm gonna go back over there. You got it from here, right? Appreciate you, thank you. I feel like that's it. Cab bolt, four support bolts, bed bolts. I think what we do is we roll it outside and take the forklift and pull it all off because I don't think we're going to be using much of this. So I know we're using the frame, but I'm going to go tear it apart, see what we can fuck up with the forklift. Let's do it. All right. like a good a spot as any. I think I can get around everything with this forklift here. So I'm gonna get these off of here and get the uh, extendo forks and 
Start ripping shit off this thing. We're doing it wrecking yard style. Go right through the cab. the e-brake. Well, when I was underneath it, something looked funny. I figured, well, I'll wait till we get the cab off. But I noticed the core support was a little bent, and I noticed one of the fenders had been was bent on the inside. So I'm like, okay, this thing's been in a wreck. Um, and sure as shit, all this is pushed in, and this uh, core support mount has been modified, I guess you could say, to put it nicely. They've uh, it's ripped away from the frame and. They had to uh, cut a giant hole to get it forward enough to line up. So it's not good. Not on this one. It's not. It's not good. A little rusty and dirty. Mike, you got a lot. I ain't, ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that the core support's been all walled out. Ooh. Frame uh, ripped here. I think this rail is pushed over. Definitely looks. And then look how twisted that dude is. It yeah, really it looks twisted. We're gonna have to find another frame. I don't know what Richard wants to spend on something like that. If he's wanting to pick up a chassis, or if we're just gonna find another truck. I don't think even getting a new one is possible in the time frame that we have. Because most most times it's like eight to twelve weeks out. Yeah, to get one built. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to find another truck. Yep. All right. So the second truck that we got ended up being in a wreck the chassis was messed up so in a mad dash yesterday we found this truck on facebook and it's a full truck with title everything for a thousand bucks and it's a spotless chassis dude it's really clean really nice so we get a better base to start on so we're gonna get it unloaded strip it all the way down get it blasted again and really get rolling our suspension not even look Good thing with this one, we can make some of our money back because the cab is so nice. See, now we bought two chassis now. Three? Well, first one we had to. <laughs> two and a half. Yeah, it is legitimately half. <laughs> we just got to get the strip down, but be easy with the steering wheel. We need we need it, so. What's going on with the steering wheel? Well, I'll tell you later. <gasps> but we got to get the splines and all that leave those nice like don't try not to trash the, any of that because we need those to be perfect um but the rest of it yeah let's just get it back down to chassis as far as we can i'm gonna make a few calls and then i'll be back over here to help you in a second everything's better a third time around i just drank a dr pepper and it was sugar free and i wasn't ready i'm like man this something's it's got lead over here So the guys are on their way with the OBS build and uh, I have a few ideas of my own. Uh, of course, we're doing it static and we're gonna do some huge horsepower, uh, twin turboed. I mean, we're trying to make something, it's very hard to stand out in the OBS world. So we're trying to make something that eh, hopefully nobody else has ever made. Now I got to thinking and I was looking at some different things uh, and I don't think this has ever been done. I, I have looked and scoured the interwebs and I haven't seen it done. And I met a lady at SEMA this past year that literally makes uh, glass roofs, if you will. Uh, and it got me to thinking um, about what kind of car I could do with a glass roof. Now, when you think about that, you think about the bubbles that they used to blow in the 50s and 60s for a bubble top type car or the Batmobile type curved windshields or things like that. But technology's advanced quite a bit from there. And uh, she's just down near Austin area. And what I didn't tell these guys was that I bought an extra truck cab and sent it down there to her uh, to see if we can go in to the top of the truck. Okay, so you've got the back window. Everybody knows what that looks like on an OBS. Then you've got this piece of metal that's welded 
to the drip rails, if you will, it's pinch welded. And I was thinking if we could go in there, strip it down and pull those pinch welds and take that piece out and then have a piece of glass made that would go on it, we would have a single cab OBS with a pano roof, all see-through, all done, just like a modern car, just like, uh, you know, even some of the Escalades have them now and what have you, but an all pano roof on the OBS, I think would definitely set us apart. Uh, she's working on it right now, uh, already having some difficulties because it's a custom piece, but in theory, she believes it works and uh, I believe it works. And I think it'd be a really, really bitching add on to the whole build, uh, especially, which I don't know if I can pull this off, but they used to have automatic roll down back windows. And I'm not sure if I like that idea yet or not, because if I roll it down and it's still got a glass roof, I don't know if that looks sexy or not. Cause most, uh, most of the pano roofs, you know, they, they either completely go away like a convertible or they're up. And, uh, I got to if you know me, you know, I follow form and function. So I don't know if I'm going to roll that back window down or not, but, uh, be thinking about that, you know, panel roof OBS. We'll just lift it a little, get some square tubing, jig it up, make sure it's solid. And then man, we'll be ready to go Monday morning. It's time to really buckle down and get the chassis rolling. So we're gonna get in here, cut everything off, get this thing slicked down sexy, and uh, be waiting for our Texas Speed motor. I've been working on this for quite a long time and a lot of wheels. All these welds, all these welds, polishing, shaving it all off. It was like a couple of hours, maybe we, three. Listen, we was going with one kit because we thought that our other kit was completely out of stock. And then Blaine over at Ride Tech hit us up and said, hey, I found one, let's go back to that. So the kit that we was putting in was ready to go, but now we're pivoting to another kit again. What's the difference? A lot bigger C-notch and then a, it's more of a triangulated uh, four link instead of a parallel on the outside. So it's gonna hold a little bit more power the way that they built it. Most triangulated wouldn't, but the way that they have it, it's gusseted and it goes to the top of the pumpkin. It's really neat. It's like backwards of the way most time you build it. So they're but wanting us to put- The three link's gonna handle this. No, it's still a four link. Still a four link. Still okay. a four link. Okay, I was gonna say a three link ain't gonna do this. No, 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 no. no. So it's still a four link, but it's it's their OBS kit. It's it's what they have built for this. And when we ordered initially, they thought we had it, and then everybody else bought one. So we were trying to pivot to a different four link. Well, Blaine came up with one, and he sent it. It's already here. We just talked yesterday, and it's already here. So we're cutting what we did yesterday back out to that stuff. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, first thing we do, and we already back it up. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. But at least we got the kit, so it's here. All right, there's all ride tech stuff. All right, go back to cutting out your uh, work. I didn't like that work anyways. It didn't look good. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs>
So we got the sides done and the back wall done. So now we're gonna do the floor. It's just, it was easier to, to prime and do with it up like it was. So now we're gonna finish up the floor um, and then be like a brand new bed on the inside. And then we gotta do some stuff uh, on the outside. And then we gotta do some stuff to the rest of the truck. And then we gotta do some stuff to the frame. And then we gotta buy some wheels and stuff. Just a bunch of stuff left to do. chassis all sanded down mocked up on the frame table uh, everything we want really smoothed out is looking good so now it's time to start installing our ride tech kit it's a very specific kit for this OBS it's kind of a triangulated four link slash Pittman like I don't know it's it's a really really cool setup so we're gonna start throwing all this stuff on the chassis and uh, start welding it in like we did MF where it looks good Josh are finishing up welding this triangulated four link up here. Normally it's bolted up, but we're gonna weld it up just to make it a little bit more rigid. And we are gonna be boxing up the side of the frame just to make it a little bit more sturdy. But before we go ahead and box it up, we're actually gonna be running our lines through here, get our fuel line and our brake line inside just so it can be out of sight, very clean, but other than that, very protected. What we're gonna do is take this and put it on the inside of our frame rail before we box it. And that'll give us a smooth channel to run our fuel line through so it doesn't get any chafing or any wear or anything like that. It's a nice smooth internal pipe. Um, so we're gonna run it inside all the way down from the front to back and then box over it. We have a nice tube. Um, so let's see if we can't nail where we are, where we are putting it, where we're putting it. Where we're putting it, there it is, got it. So I got the uh, piece that we need made, made in the CAD software already. Measurements are perfect and we're going to cut it out. Are you sure you measured this thing out good? <laughs> no. Yeah, once that's out of the way, it'll let us drop in the back. Looks like it slid right in. That's a good thing. Let's get this thing out the way and that way we can start welding it in. I'll make another one. Sweet. So the only damage really on our bed, besides a couple little dents, is this spot here, which is pretty bad. So um, we're gonna replace it. I got this nice, slightly used piece off of another one that we're gonna put on here. So started pre-cut and I was waiting on my camera guy who uh, wasn't ready, so, but I was. So I went ahead and started cutting and now he's cussing me. He's right there behind that lens that you're all looking through. His name's Rick. He's an asshole sometimes. Brandon, highlight that, please. That's our editor, Brandon. One that makes me look so good. So I got a couple spot welds I'm gonna hit real quick and that should fall right off. But I don't feel like doing it right now, so I think I'm gonna come back to it and do it later. Hey, speaking of, that's Brandon, the one we were talking about earlier. Yep, that's Brandon. That's Brandon. Brandon, <laughs> leave that part in. That's Steve Mabry right there. He's a passport bro uh, who also does like uh, art stuff and furniture. And what all do you do, Steve? Steve's done some of the interior jobs on um, 
previous builds back during the Fast and Loud days, like he did the tequila van. Remember the tequila van? Yeah. Uh, cut to the interior of the tequila van. If you don't want. Now he's coming over here because I think he just. Oh, you bought our thing. He's a weird dude. Wasting tape. Yeah. We don't use tape anymore. Want to see something cool? Lucky I didn't hit it the first time, the whole bedside would have came off because that was a lot of power behind that first kick. Son of a bitch! i trim it up a little more. Which I did that on purpose. Just to see if you were paying attention. How you gonna do like everybody else and just not worry about the metal underneath and load it like this? Why the fuck? Uh, no. Put some caulking on it? No, I'm gonna actually trim it out to where it fits perfect. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna round this corner here. Do you know why? Tell me why. No, I want you to ask if you know why. Do you know why I would round that corner? I don't know why you would round it. I would round it because if you weld like this, round, if you weld to a sharp point, it's gonna pull the metal. Yeah. Now you know, you ever weld it in a patch and it'd be like all high and... I well, always round my corners anyway. Just, just hammer that, I'll go get a glass grip. I like frustrating Mike. What's up? So we uh, finally got our Cadillac tail light stuff in, which I'm pretty excited about. This is uh, basically what I did when I was a kid um, on these trucks, which is a pretty shitty thing to say nowadays. But um, yep, back when we were building these, when they were brand new trucks, um, we would do the shave tail lights, which is basically these. So I'm really glad we don't have to make them because back then we had to make them. Now they already make them. And then we're doing uh, the elongated Cadillac tail light setup. So basically what we're gonna do here, which like I said, back when these trucks were new, we would have to build all this stuff and now I can buy it. So that saved a bunch of time. But still gotta install everything, right? So. Take these guys. We're gonna weld all this stuff in, which gets rid of our factory tail lights, which will be cool. And then we'll take these here, fellas, and pocket them, which this is this side, but pocket them in so that all we have is the Actually, like a 90s Cadillac tail light, which looks a little like that. So it'll look really cool in there. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to get to work on that and get these put in, but the only hiccup that I got is um, we didn't really run it by Richard on these. So me and Josh kind of said that it was something that we wanted and uh, we would maybe tell him about it later, but maybe we ought to tell him about it sooner than later. So I don't waste a bunch of time, uh, but I am going to fill the tail lights and then we'll talk to him about the Cadillac part. We'll see. morning you wanted me to come check something out yeah come look at these lights if i can get it to fit right are you fucking being serious or are you kidding me about what 
What are we, mini truck in 1999? Yeah, what else do you suggest we do? This is a high horsepower hot rod. Cadillac tail lights are awesome. I haven't seen that done since like at least the early 90s. I'm from the early 90s. Remember, That's you're from the early 90s. I'm from the early, well, late 60s, but that sucks, dude. What do you There's think? There's no way. What do you think I meant when we were talking about when it? When you said Cadillac tail lights, I thought you were talking about like the brand new ones off an Escalade or something like that. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, no, so you no. don't like them? No. 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 All right. Then what do you want to do? So we got to figure something anything out. Anything but that. That I mean, doesn't work. You know anything but that doesn't work. I don't know, but I had an idea with kind of the round tail lights that stick out a little bit, kind of like on the Ferraris, on the 488s or the 599s. But then I thought that might start getting to uh, a local auto parts store looking. I can see um, kind of that's kind of Euro-y. Yeah, but... It, okay, so you I don't like I swear to these. God, y'all are messing with me now, right? This is Do you think real, I you, would cut a freaking hole? Weld these up, cut holes to mess with you. I'm already having to go backwards now because we put the dually fenders on. Well, I would be figuring out something better for taillights. I mean, I don't even care if it's something really small. I mean, this could be just total body color. We could have, you know, small dots down there, the, the little... The little stuff's real bright now. I mean, do we need a big honking tail light back there? I mean, no, but you gotta think that this is gonna be so fast, that's all people are gonna see. They ain't gonna see the front end, they're just gonna see the back of it. Well, they're not gonna see the brake lights because we ain't stopping. <laughs> this is true. I don't know, man. I, I really did not imagine that when you said Cadillac tail lights. Yeah, I was thinking Cadillac like we used to always do, Cadillac tail lights. There's I your problem, like we used to always do. We don't do stuff like that. Here. I still like them. Well, like put I, them on your car. You got a new Maverick out there. Let's go ahead and fill those in. Stick them on. I don't know, though. Well, I mean, maybe. Yeah. All right. Are y'all through terrorizing me today? Because I got work to do. Well, no, because, yeah. Yeah, we are. We're done for now. Let me get with Josh, and we'll look at some other options. But we got to figure something out pretty quick. These are y'all's problems. I got business to go run. Yeah, I know, but... What okay. fucking year tail lights are those in anyways? Like 72? No, they're like 94. Those things suck. Why are you laughing? Why is it funny? No, it's not. We got to go backwards now. What are we going to do? So I put my own foot in my mouth by telling them that I'd listen to whatever ideas they had. That was the dumbest idea I think I've ever seen come through Gas Monkey in a very, very long time. I mean, that's stuff they were doing in the 90s with Cadillac tail lights. So uh, that's not gonna happen, but now we do have to come up with a solution. And uh, this truck's gonna be really badass. I'm pretty excited though right now because I told everybody that I had a surprise. I haven't told the guys what's going on yet. It's almost ready. We gotta zip down to Austin and pick it up. I think the guys are gonna be pretty stoked on it. And I think it's gonna set our truck way, way far away from anything remotely resembling Cadillac tail lights from the 90s. What I really need this thing to do is stand out in the OBS crowd. And that's what I'm planning to do is freak everybody out with something they haven't seen with a lot of power that's gonna put down some fun. So this is only episode one of the OBS build. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, telling your friends because this truck is gonna blow people away. And I haven't even started talking about the second build and we only got 45 days. <laughs>